Hello friends! Today I'm going to share my experience when I accessed the Akashic Library for the first time. So many people have an idea of what an Akashic Library is, but today I'm going to focus on my experience which happened 12 years ago approximately, around 2009. Of course, my experience back then, as I was a teenager, uh, and accessing Akashic Library back then is different than I do it now. So I'm also going to uh, tell you how that evolves, because of course accessing Akashic Library changes as you evolve. I started this inner process with my father, because we usually did that as I was growing up. And I found myself in a space, it was very peaceful, but I was able to see something that looked similar to a grey castle. It was a building which I had to, in a way, enter. Of course, I did that, and as I was approaching this building, I did see something that was strange. I felt different energies, which I could even describe as wishes very sneaky energies and back then I did describe them as little demons uh, not because they had something, some bad intentions, no um, I just felt this weird energy so I was made aware that this place that I'm approaching so many different energies are able to approach and of course everybody has his or her own reasons to do so so once I did approach this library, I entered and in a way shape was very circular. I remember that I could look left and right and everywhere I looked, everything was in a way so precise, the details were beautiful. And I've seen hundreds of thousands of books just circulating around this room. What I thought was the most amazing information from this experience is whom I have met there. I have met for the first time when I was 19, one of 12 Orion guides, even though back then I did not even know who they were. So I approached the library and I've seen a a red wood, a very beautiful carved wooden desk and I've seen somebody sitting behind it. I observed this person, this energy and it was impossible to in a way describe him visually but I could feel the sensation of very wise old energy and he had in front of him, he had a black book so intuitively, I approached, because for me that experience was so exciting, and I asked him, where is my book? Because intuitively I felt, maybe I can discover some things about me here, even though back then, when I was a teenager, I didn't really know what Akashic Library is. And I understood the way we communicate, it is not verbally. It is more telepathic. My father encouraged me and he said, try to ask him things, try to discover who he is. He did, in a way, imprint this sensation, this information that I already got my book, that I already can, in a way, access it. But as I started to ask more, I just sensed this very strange vibration in my ears, very strange frequency, as if I am not able to understand what he is saying. And I do recall that I was confused. For me, the most valuable information from my first visit to Akashic Vibrational Library is the role of this librarian. I didn't know back then that this librarian was one of the 12 guides that I'm going to meet. And librarian is also in the photo of 12 Orion guides. He's also portrayed with a book. Because in a way I want to honor that first experience of meeting him forever. 
of course now <laughs> I know that that was for me the first time that I meet an Orion in front of me which is why I wasn't really able to in a way visually describe this energy in front of me but I could understand that it's wise that it's old so in a way he is the one who gave me glimpses of my Orion roots as I approached Akashic Library uh, in that year when I was a teenager I received two visions and even though some people might think that once you enter Akashic Library you find a book and you read everything <laughs> usually that is not how it works because for me I don't receive books even though for the first time as I accessed I did, I did see library in a way to uh, grasp the information where I am, what is going on but when I work with Akashic Field I do not receive a book I receive images and I receive different situations I observe those pictures or those vivid pictures that are shown to me in my mind's eye so two pictures were shown to me for the first time as I entered Akashic Library I was told what is going to happen five years later I already shared on my channel how I struggled also with different physical manifestations in my awakening in my inner discovery as I uh, was losing the cir circles of my hair all over my head which was of course as you can imagine very traumatic for me but it triggered me to do inner work on a bigger level on a stronger level first picture that I saw was a bold old man he had no hair but he was carrying books and the second picture that I got it was also an old man but he had a wig on he was hiding he wasn't authentic and the strongest message that I got from this librarian behind the desk he told me when the time comes do not hide do not wear a wig just be authentic be yourself learn keep moving because of course little did I know four or five years later I found myself in a state of mind should I hide what is happening to me or should I seek inside should I start learning about who I truly am but of course at the moment when I did receive this information I wasn't really aware what it means and I find it interesting and that is something that was important for me to mention in this video why wasn't I able to hear or understand as soon as I ask something more complex I received an answer years later I wasn't able to understand because we cannot understand without having a foundation for understanding what is said to us of course as I ask where is my book librarian was able to tell me you already have it that is something that I could understand but what book are we talking about what is this library why am I here why am I seeing these different images why can't I understand you? Why are you so familiar but I can't describe you? Those were questions that I wasn't able to discover or get back then, but I did in the next years that followed. That is why I want to encourage everybody who takes their spiritual work seriously, write everything down. Because of course I wouldn't be able to remember everything in such detail from 2009 and I wouldn't be able to reflect on everything that happened if I didn't wrote it down if I couldn't fresh it up in a way because no matter how vivid our inner meditations or our inner travels are we always tend to forget so it is also important to say about Akashic Vibrational Library I like to call it that 
because every person has a different vibrational library that you can access or if you work with somebody with some spiritual teacher they also access your vibrational library at least that is how I work so that means when I work with somebody and when I in a way um, investigate their Akashic um, information always we get information that is for the highest good of that person and information that that person can understand because that is how it looks at the beginning of my journey of course I saw a library because that was important to understand where I am but as I access Akashic library often and regularly also the location changed it expanded so now when I enter, when I access Akasha, I just feel as if I'm in this infinite space. I don't see bookshelves. I don't even see a book coming towards me. But I do see flashes, I see vivid colors, I see vivid photos, situations. Because that is how I connect in a way with information and vibrational field but it doesn't mean that if you work with Akasha that that is also the way how you approach it but it is important to know that Akashic library is a vast infinite space where we do uh, access certain information about our soul journey or soul journey of others the only way how you manage that is that you raise your frequency so high that once you do enter Akashic Library you are very gentle with the information that you receive because so many energies are in a way accessing Akashic fields and we have to have respect for it we have to have respect for the information that we have been given, that we see. And the aspect of being so connected, the aspect of knowing that there is a possibility to access this information that is greater than ourself, that is where beauty lies. Because spiritual work it's never ending. You constantly evolve, you constantly change and you become better, you become stronger. Which is why I strongly encourage you to write everything down because I found in my experience being able to research my own information, my own discoveries, being able to re reflect back and make comparisons learn from my past experiences that back then didn't mean anything but now they give me this broader perspective of understanding of everything that I've been through. So if you have this desire to access Akashic fields just keep on meditating, relaxing and have fun. Until we meet again, Namaste.